Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my lead code videos and this one we'll do the lead code 322 coin change. This is a classical dynamic programming problem. So basically we're given a, a list of available coins and an amount and we have to return the minimum number of coins we can use to exactly create this amount. And if we can't exactly create the amount, we return negative one, right? So in this case, if we only have a coin of two and our amount is three, we can't create this. In this case, our amount is 11. The most efficient way is to do five, five, and one. We could also do like, you know, 11 ones, but they'll be using up more coins. So we need to do it in the least amount of coins. So what will be our approach to solve this problem? To look at our approach, let's visualize this a bit. So let's say we had a set of available coins, one, two, and five, right? And let's say we wanted to make the amount 26, right? So what we would, what we could do to get 26 is, okay, if I use a coin of one, then the remaining amount I need to make is 25. If I use a coin of two, the remaining amount I need to make is 24. And if I use the coin of five, the remaining amount I need to make is 21, right? So then I, I get the minimum amount for each of these amounts the minimum number of coins for each of these amounts. And I add it with one because I'm using up one coin here, right? So whichever returns the lowest result plus one, that will be the value for 26. And then to do it for 25, we apply the same thing. So I've gone ahead and filled it up for everyone in this level, right? So for 25, you can have 24, 23, or 20, depending on if you choose one to five. For 24, it's 23, 22, 19. For 21, it's 20, 19, 16. And if you notice now, we have already a lot of duplicate numbers. So we have 24 here, which is the same thing as here, right? We have 23 here, which will be the same thing as here. We have 20 here, which will be the same as this. We have 19, which will be the same as this. So there's a lot of duplicate work here. So basically that's where dynamic programming comes in, where we'll reuse the, once we compute the result, we'll reuse it to compute the next one. So. Basically, our, our dynamic programming equation will be that for the minimum number of coins for a given amount, right, is basically equal to one plus the aggregate minimum of the minimum number of each amount minus each coin, right? So basically, we get the minimum number of coins for the amount minus each coin we take the minimum of that and add it to one, and that's going to be the minimum number of coins to generate amount. And obviously if all of these are negative one, meaning we can't create any of the sub amounts, then we return negative one. I just haven't represented that here, but we'll see that when we do the coding. So basically we'll to do this in code, we'll create an array whose size is amount, right? So we'll create an array of amount. So let's say our amount is, uh, you know, Let's use 11 for simplicity's sake. Okay, I'm tired of drawing boxes, so let's use six for simplicity's sake. And so what we'll do is we'll start from, since we know that we, we need to look at amounts of lower values, that means we'll start with the lowest value first. So we'll say DP zero is zero because we need zero coins to make zero, right? And then for DP one, we'll do the same thing. And obviously if the coin, takes us less than zero, we'll not consider it, right? So we'll only consider coins that are less than or equal to the amount. So in this case, we can only consider coin number one and we'll find that amount minus one is zero. So we'll have the DP of zero, right? Plus one, which is one. And we'll continue doing that. So for two, we, we can ev either evaluate two minus one or two minus two, which is zero. Right, and the minimum of these two is basically two minus two. So we take zero plus one, which is this one. So we'll have one over here. So we'll continue doing that, but basically eventually when we reach DP six, we'll take the minimum of DP five because that's one, DP four, that's two, and DP one, because that's one. And we'll add that plus one and put the value over here we'll find that this one will be two. So let's go ahead and write the code for this. So first we'll go ahead and create our um, DP array, which 
will be sized at uh, amount plus one length, right? So that we can index DP amount as the final solution. And then we'll go ahead and create a loop from one to amount. And we won't start at zero because for zero anyway, the value is going to be zero. Um, so we don't need to start at zero. So then we'll loop through all of the coins so that we can, you know, subtract the coin value and see if we can get the corresponding DP. So first let's compute the target value. Our target value will be I minus coin because we're trying to compute the DPI. So this is the amount that we need to compute. And so we'll say if target less than zero, then we can just continue because we want to skip this coin. But also um, as an optimization, we can use break here if we sort the coins, right? So if we find the first coin that's like greater than the I, then we can assume that every coin after that is also going to be greater um, if we sort the array. So let's just go ahead and sort coins. And this should be a very cheap operation because there can only be a maximum of 12 coins as you see here. So if target is less than zero, we'll go ahead and break. Otherwise, we'll set our DP at I equals to the minimum of the existing DP, right? So maybe a previous uh, ones has set already some kind of value here and now there's a new coin. So we'll take the existing value and take the min of the DP target which is that target amount if we use this coin plus one because we've used this coin, right? But now let's just think about some edge cases because the initial value of DPI will be zero, right? Because over here, this will initialize it to zero. So, you know, the min, the first coin that works will, will fail the min and we'll just end up with zero. So to overcome that, let's initialize DP at I to the maximum possible value. And the maximum possible value will be amount plus one, right? Because we can't have more coins than amount because the smallest possible coin is just going to be of length one, right? So amount plus one is an impossible value for DPI. So we'll just use that. And that way, you know, even if the child one has the impossible value, it'll keep incrementing. So it'll keep going up, right? And then at the end, what we want to do is we want to return DP amount, right? But maybe we couldn't make DP amount. If we couldn't make DP amount, this uh, DPI will be equal to amount plus one plus possibly more, right? So if our DP amount is greater than amount, right? In that case, we'll just return negative one because that means we couldn't make it. Um, otherwise, we'll return DP amount. So let's run this and see how this does. Cool, accepted, let's submit. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.